Hey, what's up guys? Blue Devil here. It's time for that weekly upload, OCN Weekly. A weekly upload that lets you know what's hot in the OCN community with tech news and tech releases. So with that, let's go get overclocked. So let's kick this off with some interesting news from NVIDIA. NVIDIA says it can create the most energy efficient GPU in the world at any time. Well, this seems like a pretty bold statement to make, but then again, NVIDIA does own over 80% of the market share. With GPU pricing climbing, let's hope prices come down massively. I won't hold my breath though. Also in the news from NVIDIA, the face of marketing for NVIDIA, Tom Tap Peterson has left for Intel. Intel is ramping up production for their new GPUs, codenamed Odyssey, by taking people from its competitors. Peterson will join the ranks of former AMD employees, Rajo Kudur, Chris Hook, and Jim Keller. Peterson was with NVIDIA since 2005. More from NVIDIA, NVIDIA has released new GeForce drivers that add DXR to select GeForce GTX GPUs with Wickle driver 42531. It looks like all the new GTX Touring line, as well as the GTX 1060 6GB on up, is supported in addition to Titan graphics cards based on both Pascal and Volta architectures. While previously communicated that non RTX cards could not perform DSR functions, NVIDIA has now stated supported GPUs will use CUDA cores to execute DXR workloads. While the RTX counterparts can and will process DXR workloads using RT and Tensor cores at a much faster rate. And the last bit of news pertaining to NVIDIA GPUs is actually coming from EVGA. EVGA has launched their new flagship GPU, the RTX 2080 Ti Kingpin Edition. The RTX 2080 Ti Kingpin takes the title as world's fastest GPU. Achieving this title means a hefty board design packing a 16 plus 3 phase VRM for extreme overclocking in mind, pulling in more than 520 watts using the onboard vBIOS. The PCB is a 12 layer low loss design coupled with 12 onboard ICX temperature sensors as well as probit headers to monitor real time GPU voltages. PCIe cabling is also interesting needing three 8 pin 12 volt PCIe connections routed to the edge of the PCB for cleaner cable routing. The cooling system is handled by a 240mm Asetek designed AIO liquid cooler. Two 120mm PWM fans sit on top of the radiator while a single 100mm fan is within the all metal GPU shroud. Under the shroud is a full metal heatsink that's copper plated. EVGA has also stated that a full coverage water block will be available at a later date. Boy, I would love to get my hands on one for OCN Hardware Labs. We shall see. Another tech giant, Apple, has recently announced that they would sell wireless charging AirPods, then decides to cancel the charger days later. Apple has stated that after much effort, we have concluded air power will not achieve our high standards and have canceled the project. It just seems that Apple right now, as they usually do, think they need to reinvent the wheel. We shall see. Gearbox, the same company that made three Borderlands games, has announced Borderlands 3, with Borderlands 3 being the fourth in the series. With no word on which platforms or release date, 2K Games has stated that it will be out within this coming fiscal year. All right, peeps, that's it for OCN Weekly. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, you know what to do. Blue Devil, out.